Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be getting all the settings data from API and we'll be filling them. So let me show you here in my dashboard. If we go here in the settings, we can see here this hero information, about us information and contact us information. And if you look here, all this, this, da this data, and if you look here in the about us, this image, this description, and again here, if you go here in the contact section, this, all this data and this map URL will be getting all this data from API. So first of all, let me go to the home page. Now let us first try to get this one. First of all, let us make an API. So currently now I am here in my this Laravel project. Now let us create a controller, settings controller. So now I have made PHP artisan make controller API slash settings controller. Now let me open that file from here. Okay, now it's open and now let us create a route for that. And now let us say here settings and I'll also say settings controller and it will be API settings controller and we'll make an index method there. So here let us make index method and now here we will return the settings response so as you have seen when we were creating in our admin panel there is only one row in the settings table so if i show you here if i fetch all the settings then you can see here guys there is only one row or let me show you by showing the count so there is only one row so we'll get the first row from the settings so we'll just say here return new settings resource and we'll say settings find with the id of one now let us see how does it look like in the browser so now let us go here in the browser here let's say um, test slash settings sorry guys i have to add here api okay now if i zoom it for you then you can see here guys it looks like this here now we'll just get all this data and we'll show it in the front end okay now here i am in the front end and this is my back end now let me go here in the front end and look at here guys the every time whenever our app loads the first time it visits app dot view so we'll be calling that this settings data from here app dot view and we'll be using the same data whenever we visit in about us and contact us anywhere so that we'll be making only one api request and we'll be using that so let's say whenever we visit on about a space so we will not again call that settings api and face the data we'll get that data only once and show them in all the pages okay now we have our logic here in the composable so using this convention let us make use settings.js and here we'll say here function use settings like this so if you look here guys in the use articles every reactive data is inside this use article but now in case of settings we'll make it outside this function and we'll make it global and i'll tell you the reason why so let's say here let settings equals to ref and let's give it empty object so if you see here in our browser here api so here um, you can see here guys it is only one object here which is inside the data so we'll make your object like this now i'll show you guys the reason why we are making this global okay and we'll be returning it from here like this settings so we'll be defining it as a global property and we'll returning from inside the function okay now so guys let me show you here i have already prepared an example for that so let's see guys we used or we just return the settings from within the function like this that we have done here in the article yeah so everything is inside the function and we are returning finally from within the function and now let's say this is settings it has only one property a colon b and we are defining here two variables settings one and settings two and we are calling the function over here and now let's say whenever we change the property of this uh, a yeah we'll change for the settings one we'll change the property a to c and whenever we console log settings one yeah we can see here guys it is c yeah because we have changed it the value was b before and now it is c now if we console log settings two it is same a colon b 
and you might think it is obvious because we haven't changed anything for the settings too yeah guys that's for sure and nothing has changed so everything is okay which means that the, there is no mutation every data that we have is this in the local and whenever we call this settings a new object is created and that's why whenever we change on this settings one it is not reflecting it on the settings two okay now this is one case okay guys so let me just comment this all and i have another example as well so let me comment them as well uncomment them sorry <laughs> And here I have a settings data here outside of the function. So as I have done here in the settings, so it is outside, okay, settings is outside of this function. So, and inside from inside the settings, I am returning this settings data. So you can see here guys, I am returning the settings, okay, from within the function. Now, if you see here, so I have here settings one and settings two, okay. Now I am also again calling the settings method here, but this returned data is set globally but in this case our case it was inside okay now let's see what happens okay so whenever we change settings one dot a to c so currently it is if you see here b yeah and whenever we change settings one to c then it's obvious that settings one this a value this a value of the a was b before and now it will be changed to c now let's see what happens when we log settings two Ooh, let's see again <laughs> so you might have been thinking what happened what is going on here so this is mutation and let me tell you why it happens okay so look here guys so whenever we write let settings data equals to an object then it will store this value in a certain location so there will be certain address where it will store it and whenever we return the settings data so it will just return that reference from here okay it will not just return that value but it will return the reference and whenever we define this settings one and settings two like this settings function then it will this this settings and this settings will refer to the same address since we are not creating a new object here we are just returning what have been created before so these two will just return the same reference the value from the same reference and now if we change this settings one then this settings two will also be changed because both of them are pointing to the same address so everything is happening because they have been passed by reference not passed by value so in this way whenever we change a value of this settings one the settings two will also change let's say we are accessing it here or at the bottom or anywhere else within this scope then whenever setting one changes then settings two also changes so that's why most of the people were saying that we don't need view x whenever we are using view three because we can create a store yeah like this so if we create a store like this anywhere and we'll just return it from the function or anywhere else and we just change one data then other data will also change and it will automatically get reflected in the other pages as well okay now guys let us go and implement that so here if we see here in the code here in the reactivity it is this settings equals to ref and here we'll say here fetch settings and it will be a function and here we'll say here we'll just import api from at the red slash api slash api dot js and here we'll say api dot get and it will be settings and then response settings dot value equals to response dot data this will be the property where axios returns the data and the data will be this this whole object and we only want the data from there okay we want data from there and within the data all the properties will be available let's say response dot data dot data here okay now here we also return let's say here f50 cs <laughs> fits settings like this and we'll just export this function from here now let's use this inside this app.view we will call this use settings from this app.view because let's say we are in this 
about us page okay and whenever let's say a user refreshes the page then if we had called that api inside the home page then it will not be called and this all data will be empty okay so we have to do it in the app so let's say here import and we'll say here use use settings from use settings.js and let us write setup method and here we'll say here let and we'll just call the method and here we'll say fetch settings and we will only call this function here and we don't want to access any data from here okay we'll access the data from the other pages like home page about us page and contact us page okay now let's see guys if the request will be sent or not so okay it is throwing some error and it is saying that we cannot resolve this okay so here at the rate slash src so sorry we don't need this src okay whenever we write at the rate it is already inside the src so let me open the console here and network tab and now let me refresh here okay now you can see here guys this settings is also called this settings api and we have this data over here okay now where do we need this data so let us first kill this about us data from the api okay now if we go here in the views here in the about and index so now we'll just copy this and let me paste it here and i'll also copy this inside here and now we don't need to fetch it again we'll just get the data if you look here inside the settings we have also returned the settings so we'll just use it because whenever we have fetched the data after fetching the data we have assigned it to the settings so we can now access that via the settings and as you have this return it here inside outside the function then whenever we call this use settings then we'll get the same settings okay we'll not get an empty object and we'll just return from here settings like this and here if we look here guys so here we have this about description and about image url we'll use those so here since this is an html so let me just remove all of them and i'll say here v dash html equals to settings dot about description and here about image url here in the inner hero so we'll just say here settings dot about image and if we see here guys here we have here in the about us section so we have this image and we have these one two three three paragraphs of lorem epsom data and now if we go here in the blog and refresh now you can see here guys the settings is also there and now we can see here guys there is three paragraphs of lorem epsom data and the same image here so now if i show you here so this image and this image is same here okay guys so let me show you this one little big image open image in the new tab and now you can share guys this image and this is the same image that we are seeing here now okay now let me remove this now let us do the same thing for this home page and this data this current data is from this hero description okay and if we look here in our settings so this is not an html this is just a simple text area now let's go to the home and hero section inside here and let us just copy and paste our code here from the setup method like this and this one also from here and we'll say here okay let us just copy the this name hero description and we'll pass here that hero description also guys we have this image over here now this is hero image url and we'll replace this with settings dot hero image url and just write a colon in front of it okay and you can see here guys the image is changed and the image doesn't look good i know that yeah we can change it from the back end and 
this is the text and if you look this wordings here this text and this both of them are same okay so after that here we can go here in the contact us page and we have these things dynamic okay this address phone email and this map url now if we go here and now here in the contact us index so if you go here at the bottom we'll do the same thing inside the setup as we have done in the hero section just copy this and paste it here guys so that's the fun of using this composition api just define it somewhere else and just use it in every other places so we'll also copy this and paste it here and now we'll just right here go right here so in case of the address we'll say here settings dot address like this and let me for now just copy this and paste it over here and over here now if you see here guys all of them will have the same value okay now let's see what is the phone and email their value so if you see here it's a phone for the phone and email for the email and now this is the url of the embedded map and let's see it's called google map url and we'll say here settings.google map url and we'll just make it dynamic now if i save here and come here in the browser and now you can see here guys this phone and in email has also changed and this map has also been extracted according to that url and if we look here in this here guys here so if you look here in the contact us so this is lorem ipsum this this and let's say here the new address like this okay and if we save it and if we come here and if we refresh the page now you can see here guys it is reflected here so guys today we have changed all the static contents of the settings and we have made them dynamic so we are almost about to complete this block series and in the next video we'll be just entering this data and hit submit and we'll send an email to the admin so that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching have a great day bye